The short answer is companies are still figuring out what a post pandemic office will look like. It generally, though, means less space because not all the employees are going to be in the building five days a week. It also means there needs to be more fun stuff around that makes workers want to show up. The office that Mark Potts DPS Group Global works out of helped get this Kansas City arm of an international company off the ground. But once we got here, um, we were looking for something different. That's why Mark and DPS Global are trading in their office space in these two buildings next to a big parking lot and a highway for an office in the much more densely packed Park Place. And the amenities in Park Place are great. You know, there's six or seven restaurants and bars. There's an ice cream shop, um, it's covered parking. The new location will double the square footage for Mark's quickly growing office, but it also gives them a lot of fun stuff right on their doorstep. It's a move that new Mark Zimmer associate director Tommy Gentry sees a lot. Really kind of an impact of COVID is quality over price has really become kind of in the forefront. That's why Newmark Zimmer's office market report for the first quarter of 2022 says the strongest areas for office space are southern Johnson County and downtown Kansas City, even if overall there's been more vacant space since COVID started. He says companies are rethinking what they want, moving to places with more features inside and attractions nearby. The buildings that are going to be winners down the road are buildings with more amenities, more reason to draw people in rather than push them back into the office. That means landlords will have to dish out money for upgrades if they haven't done it already, and we still haven't seen more private offices either. Both Tommy and Mark tell me that being a part is making us value that collaboration more. So whatever office space those offices do use, it's generally being designed to allow people to work closer together.